Okay, thank you for staying here with us. It has been a very long time since it was morning, and our stream is keep going. And this is our new guest, Ola. And as far as I know, your family actually fled from the communism. So please share us your stories. Yes, I was born in Kyrgyzstan, right next to right next to China, Uzbekistan, and Kazakhstan. There we go. My parents were born in the former Soviet Union. My great-grandmother actually served 22 years in a communist gulag for this, oh, for possession of a Bible. My grandfather, her son, served 10 years in a Soviet gulag for being a Christian. So we were, my family comes from communism, socialism, that Soviet Union. And I was born just a couple years after the fall of the Soviet Union in Kyrgyzstan. But it was horrible. You know, we came to the United States in uh, 1998 when I was five years old. I thought going to bed hungry was normal because that's how everybody lived. I thought not having birthday parties or Christmas presents was a normal thing. And only the higher ups do it. Now I'm here in the United States and praise the Lord Jesus Christ for this country, for the freedoms that we have here. But sadly, we need to be fighting for our freedoms. And, you know, I run a YouTube channel and a podcast and I do interviews where I try to expose where I came from and how it's creeping into our country, communism. Yes, very, a very touching story. You tell, told us the freedom is never free. And you know so much about communism. So. I think, in my opinion, the Chinese Communist Party is much more evil than the Soviet Union. What do you think? I agree. I agree 100%. The Soviet Union was evil because of communism. Yes. If the Soviet Union decided to be a uh, capital state, it wouldn't have been the way it was. The Soviet Union decided to go with a communist dictatorship agenda. I mean, a lot. we understand that Hitler was a bad guy. He did a lot of bad things. But I truly, I did my research. Joseph Stalin makes Hitler look like an angel. Yeah. He killed over a hundred, uh, over 30 million of his own citizens, including his own son. And the mouth helps even more. Yep, yep. So, so you know, we, a lot of people make Hitler out, in which he was evil, don't get me wrong. But look at the leaders of communism. Way worse. They killed their own. They starved their own, you know. And it didn't matter if you were, if you were, black, white, red, orange. Everyone's hungry. Everyone's depressed. Everyone, you know, just doesn't have a future. That's communism. They are all psychopaths. That's what we, what, what yes. we are fighting with. And what do you think about us? What do you think about our initiative, our messages? taking down the Communist Party of China and build a new federal state of China. I think what you guys are doing is amazing. And what you guys are doing, and I was speaking to you about this before the camera started rolling, a lot of people talk about communism is bad, communism is evil, but deep down in their heart, they don't truly understand the power of communism. I believe we have people in Congress, in Senate, in the White House that have been paid off and went and by the, by the CCP and how do we know this look at the agenda look at what they vote for and what they vote against that exactly so how do people find you and you are so energetic you are so passionate praise the Lord and, and what you do in the in your uh, daily life what is your what is your career and how people can <laughs> on YouTube ANN American News Network and on Twitter, ANN underscore News 92. Um, I talk about American politics, international politics, and again, I make a lot of videos talking about my family's past, where we came from, what we experienced, and how thankful we are to be here. And just one thing I say, it is, I love what you guys are doing. You guys are getting the message across. And sometimes it takes an immigrant or a person from another country to really appreciate the freedoms of the United States, right? I, I didn't come here through the border. We went through a very long process. We came here legally, you know, then we waited 10 years to become citizens. 
We're proud citizens. I was born here. I have four daughters that were born in the United States. And I just pray that the Lord Jesus Christ gives me and all of us the courage to stand up for our rights, God-given rights, so that our children, our next generation, does not have to grow up in the type of country that I fled. Wonderful. So uh, after seeing us, are you going to uh, start promoting taking down the CCP in your own channel because they are such a great evil still exists in, the, in this world. So the union has been destroyed by its own people. And how about now? The CCP, they are even greater threat to yeah. America than the Soviet Union. Are you going to stand with us and start start exposing their true evils to the whole people, in the, everybody in the world? Yes, of course, 100%. I mean, if I just sat here and talked about it but did nothing further, you know, it's nothing but words with the wind, but we need action. And I'd actually love to have you guys on my channel. I'd love to collaborate more often as your, as your progress moves forward so that the people could see the testimony of how God is using you guys to set people free in China and worldwide. If we, believe, if we beat communism in China, we beat communism worldwide because that is the head of the snake. Exactly. That's, uh, what you said is music to my ears. It's so, you said so much great words. And what do you think the American government should do? Well, first of all, I believe we need to clean house. <laughs> yes. That's the number one thing we need to do. We need to go in and get those little snakes that are obedient to the head and they need to be voted out. We need Donald Trump back in, back in the White House because the CCP feared and fears that man. Russia wasn't invading anyone. You know, we didn't have the Israel war and China was not threatening Taiwan. You said so correct. It's such a wonderful speech you guys have just gave us. Thank you very much, Abulad. Thank you, my friend. God bless you.